Welcome to WCTV, everyone. I'm Mikey Paisley. And I'm Jake Nellis. Hope you have been staying out of the cold this week. Temperatures have not seen the positive side of thermometer in a while. Mikey, I'm still a little too cold to anchor, so why don't we take a little break? We'll be right back after this. La 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 Um, la. Jake, what are you doing? I'm just getting warmed up. Jake, the cameras are rolling. Oh, uh, sorry everyone. What kind of warm-up was that anyways? Just something I learned at play practice. I have to get ready for our performance tonight. Right, it's opening night! Sure is! The annual student-led production kicks off tonight at 7.30 p.m. in the Premsa High Auditorium. To all the individuals involved, break a leg! <laughs> I get it. You said break a leg because that's the title of the play. You caught me, Jake. <laughs> I love puns. How could I forget? Speaking of performances, did you happen to catch the variety show last weekend? I did, and I think I caught the love bug along with it. With three phenomenal shows on Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, Connor had plenty of opportunities to string together a great story. Along with group performances, there were also solos and duets. The audience was blown out of the water by what was happening on stage. There were over 100 more people in the audience than in years past, but even in the packed auditorium, finding a seat wasn't hard for some people. You can now reserve seats online for performances in the auditorium. Connor Hearn got a backstage look at the variety show. If you haven't heard yet, Variety Show was a hit. Family and friends all came to watch their sons and daughters perform jazz vocals and show choir, 9th through 12th grade, directed by Mr. Witherspoon and Miss Farley. La 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 la. This has been Kyle Hearn reporting for WCTV. Great job to everyone involved with the show. I don't think I could ever do a solo in front of all those people. I hear that imagining the crowd in their underwear helps to calm the nerves of a performer. Approximately 56% of performers experience anxiety before they enter stage left. Although the fear is only in their heads, nerves can sometimes cause actors or performers to stumble through their scene or act. Whether it's behind or in front of the camera, everyone in WCTV has moments of fear. I usually get nervous right before an interview. I worry that I won't know uh, the right questions to ask my interviewee. But what a lot of people don't know is what goes on behind the scenes of a WCTV production. My Jaycox, who is already behind the scenes, got an even closer look at what it takes to produce one episode of WCTV and the students who are involved. Let's see what's behind the screen. What is WCTV? What are the roles you have in this class? My role in WCTV is to be in charge of the technical staff and make sure that the technology is up and running for every show. In WCTV, I learn valuable skills for my future, such as film, peer-to-peer -peer communications, dealing with large groups of people, internet, computer, my role in WCTV is I act as one of the two student directors and what I do is I assign features to the beautiful, talented talent of this program. So WCTV to me is a great class in learning how to manage my time and meet deadlines. There's a bunch of nice people that I got to meet and talk to this year. WCTV is definitely the most original class at this school. Um, it's unlike any other class. You, there's yearbook, there's art classes. 
Um, but we all work as a team to create one show, and it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of stress, but it's a really cool experience. This has been Maya Jaycox reporting for WCTV. A public forum was hosted at the Webster City Middle School on Monday. The purpose of the forum was to inform students and staff about the new plan of action for emergencies such as intruders. Police Captain Tony Jansen said, Law enforcement has one response, and that's to respond to the threat, locate it, and stop that threat. It's good to know a course of action in case a threatening situation would arise. Webster City schools aren't the only ones developing action plans. Russia is prepared to invade the Ukraine at any moment. Dalton Drager has an update on this situation, as well as some other news. The world of news has taken an upswing in the past few weeks. As most of the nation knows, Justin Bieber was apprehended for a DUI. He also posted a photo on Instagram of his ex-girlfriend Selena Gomez. Possibly he wants to rekindle their old flame. In the world of sports, the Olympics wrapped up on February 23rd and saw Russia take home the most medals with 33, followed by the United States with 28 and Norway with 26 respectively. At the Academy Awards, Gravity, 12 Years a Slave, and Dallas Buyers Club stole the limelight as Leonardo DiCaprio still has that famous Oscar eluding him. On a more serious topic, Ukraine mobilized troops after Russian leader Vladimir Putin invaded the country. Washington threats to isolate Russia from the Western world if they do not cooperate. That's it for World News. Let's send it back to the anchors. Thanks, Dalton. It's good to know what's happening outside of our community. Don't forget to check out the play this weekend. Performers, remember to eat a healthy breakfast before the show. We have a special program to inform you about National Breakfast Week. When you skip breakfast, you do not take on the day with confidence. When you do not take on the day with confidence, you struggle with the FFA creed. When you struggle with the FFA creed, Tanner Hild gets mad. When Tanner Hild gets mad, you hide out in the greenhouse. When you hide out in the greenhouse, you wonder if all plants are edible. When you wonder if all plants are edible, you decide to test your theory that all plants are edible. Don't test your theory that all plants are edible. Start every day with a healthy breakfast from WCHS Food Service. Also, spring sports have begun for some athletes. The boys and girls track teams will be in Ames for, before their first meets before April rolls around. Luckily, the meets will be indoors. You may have to make a few last-minute efforts to improve your grades because spring break is the week following conferences. You wouldn't want to be stuck with your parents after a negative discussion with a teacher or two. Well, Mikey, that pretty much wraps it up for this week. I suppose you're right. Next week's show will cover the play and give a preview to Dance Marathon. The show will also recap, uh, show a recap of winter sports. We'll see you next time on WCTV. WCTV. Of people going by, I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? Hey, how are you? Sing along to my stereo. Oh.